Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of Practical PowerPoint Tips series, I'm going to answer one of the common questions asked by participants from our training programs. The question is, should we use set transparent color or should we use remove background, especially when you have photos that have a flat background like this? The answer to that question is, it depends. It depends on whether you want to use the photo once on the same background or you want to use the photo on multiple occasions on different colored backgrounds. Let me explain this a little more. First, let us try to use set transparent color. You, you can find the tool. When you select the photo, you can go to format tool and under color, you would be able to find the option called set transparent color. When you click on the tool, you, your cursor changes uh, into a pen kind of uh, an object. And when you click on the flat background, then the background gets removed. This is definitely a very easy way to remove flat background. But unfortunately, it is not a very elegant solution especially when you want to use the photo on multiple occasions on different colored backgrounds. Let me show you what I mean by this. While this image looks perfectly fine, and while you might think that the background has been removed, let us say, let me go to send to back, and here you can see, sorry, here you can see I am moving the shape at the background, and there is no white color that, is, uh, that was seen earlier, so you might think that everything is fine. But actually, it is not. Now, let me expand the background fully to cover the entire slide end to end. And you can see that it is not as good as it can be. For example, you can see that these edges are all looking um, not so good. And you can see the effect here in these edges as well. Sometimes it can so happen that if you choose the white color which is inside the photo, then you might actually have holes here which can make the photo look very scary. A better alternative is to use remove background. Let me go to the same image and let me try and put the same background in the new image as well. Let me paste it and then say send to back. While remove background might be a bit of a pain in terms of uh, the selection, removal, etc., it is a much better solution when you want to reuse the image. Let me show you how, it, how to remove background. So I have selected this photo. I'm going to format, remove background option. And you can see wherever you see this pink color, that part is going to be removed by PowerPoint. So I'm going to first expand the selection by moving the bounding box closer to the edges. Now as you can see, the edges are far smoother of this photo. The edges of the photo are far smoother. And there are some disadvantages, like certain portions where we want the color to remain are also selected so that means if I am going to, if I were to select outside, you can see that there is, I am losing all these uh, areas. To avoid that, let me press Ctrl Z and I have, I am back to where I was before. To avoid the issue, you have the options here which says marks, mark areas to keep and mark areas to remove. I am going to click on mark areas to keep and I am going to click the cursor on the pink area and I'm going to drag it across. So that claims that part of the photo back and I'm going to do the same on all the areas where I want to reclaim. And in a matter of a few seconds, I have reclaimed all the areas where I have lost to the background. Same way I'm going to do to this bag as well and for this as well. And there it is. I have claimed whatever portion that I required and now when I click outside, you can see that the image looks far better. 
If I were to compare this with the previous one, this is with set transparent color and this is with remove background color and you can understand that uh, remove background color is a far more elegant solution. However, if you are going to use it only on a white background once, then you can save tons of time by using set transparent color. So there is no clear recommendation as to which tool is better. Both have their own uh, purposes. So that is the answer to that question. If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create professional looking graphics for your business slides, you can always take a look at our PowerPoint CEO packs. The two CEO packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought Replace a sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. And if you liked our tutorial on whether to use set transparent color or remove background color, you can always read more such articles at presentationprocess.com. You can also watch more videos like the one that you have just seen at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Happy presenting.